Hello ladies and germs, today we're going to be talking about the Aplom USB-C multi-port adapter. Why am I mentioning this when I usually just do gaming stuff? Well, because they sent me a free one. Let's face it, that's the reality of the thing. But, I do actually use one on a regular basis. This guy, the IXCC, which I've been using for eh, a couple years now. Uh, I got it for my Mac, which was short on USB ports. Of course, my Win 2 is always short on USB ports. It only has one USB and one USB-C. And, of course, the Alienware 17R4, which just... Why? Only has two USB ports, which isn't even enough to do any of the virtual reality stuff which it sells itself as doing. Anyway, we'll get off of that cranky rant. But uh, for the... 17 out of 4, I use a much bigger version of this, and I was just wondering if maybe I could replace it all with this. So, I've got some testing. But before that, let's take a look at this sucker right now and what the features are. There is, of course, me punching this camera back here. Oops. SD. Micro SD. USB 3. And that's important because my old one had USB 2, and that's been slowing me down. Uh, especially on video transfers, uh, which I take from this camera, of course. Another USB 3, another USB 3. This is a pass-through, and this is another thing that this one does not have. Uh, that is one of the big problems I have with this, is, of course, when I have this plugged in, I can't get power. So, <laughs> while I'm using this, uh, the battery is just draining, and that's it. And it doesn't last terribly long, especially if you're doing some hardcore gaming. So, this is a pass-through. And then there's an HDMI adapter. Now, I don't expect to be able to do any real gaming on this. This already has a built-in one, but it would be cool to have three monitors hooked up, and we'll test that as well. All right, let's get going on the testing. Okay, for this first test, what I have done is I've connected my Xbox One spare storage drive over to the uh, USB port on the GPD Win 2, and we're going to run a read-write test. Uh, that is basically being a uh, baseline test. And then what we will do is we will connect it over to the hub and see how it performs there. Do we lose a lot of speed? Is it the same? We'll find out here. Not like a really super important test, but it does say whether it's going to become a serious bottleneck or not. Uh, by the way, I don't use this drive for my uh, Xbox anymore, so I've already formatted it. It's completely clean should make it a little bit easier to deal with. And here we go. All right, there we go. Uh, looks like, <laughs> looks like that random access is not doing as good <laughs> as sequential. That's to be expected. Boy, I didn't think it would be that much different though. That's significant. Anyway, let's go test it attached to the hub now. Now, I'm going to unplug this drive and exit the tester. Here we go. And let's just move it over. And there we go. Now we are plugged into the USB. And let's test that. Start this up. And user defined path. And there we go. It's back on D. All right, let's run the test and see what we get. All right, there we go. Test complete. Let's take a look at it next to our original test, and it's it's a it's a one thirty four point seven one just a just a little tiny bit slower, just and that's about what I'd expect. So the second thing I wanted to check was whether the battery would charge through the pass through on the USB C connector. And indeed it does. Bafo, that's good. All right, so here's something completely useless. You can set up three screens on the GPD Win 2 with this thing. 
Yeah. You're not going to be gaming on it, but indeed you can see they are three separate screens. Uh, the closest I can really get to gaming on this in this particular configuration is if I put on Intel's collage mode. Uh, and if I do collage mode, I can take a game and basically split it across any two of the screens. Uh, it won't do this with this screen. So you can't actually do it without this adapter, but if you do want to run collage mode, the only way to do it is on this. And I suppose I will show you that real quick. Hold on a second. All right, so getting into collage mode, basically hit this little carrot right here, hit the Intel graphic settings, go to multiple displays, and when you have two displays hooked up to it, you will get the chance to enable collage mode. You won't get it otherwise. So there we go, one and two, apply, and now it stretches them to make one giant screen. Now you should probably have two of the same screen for this, don't do what I'm doing here. <laughs> but uh, when you do this, you can indeed uh, play a game with it. Yep. Then use this guy as the controller. <laughs> as you can see, <laughs> that's annoying. And there we go. I'm actually playing with two screens combined. Of what use this is, other than maybe if you're doing some work, I don't know, but there it is. All right, so the verdict on the APLUM USB C multi port adapter. Well, for the GPD Win 2, I think it's a pretty decent deal. Uh, the USB is a lot faster. That was to be expected, of course, because this is USB 2, and I did test it and it smoked it, but it kind of goes without saying that USB 3 should be a lot faster than USB 2. Uh, one of the surprises, although it's not that much of a surprise, is the SD card reader when I tested it wasn't a whole lot faster, and that is largely because I think my cheap... Uh, rip-off cards probably don't do the full speed that they're supposed to anyway uh, so both of them did like neck and neck speeds on there as did the internal SD card reader uh, the HDMI out worked fine just note uh, it works in Windows but it might give you an error that says it doesn't support some of the display modes however it did cut through that and worked just fine on the GPD Win 2 Pass-through worked fine, no problem. All the USB ports were fine. General construction is just... One of the things that I liked about the Ixni was the construction. And the construction's just basically the same as the Ixni's with this metal uh, cover and then plastic ends. And it feels really nice. And you can throw it in a bag without it getting abused. I've been using it for about two weeks now. So all in all, it does indeed get a thumbs up. This one's 30 bucks. This one was 17 bucks. So the features that you need... Uh, really are going to dictate whether this is worth the extra 13 bucks or so, but I would say for my usage, definitely. Uh, I'm using it on all, all my machines now, and it was definitely worth 30 bucks, even though I didn't have to pay for it. I got it for a review, but eh, yeah, I wouldn't have felt bad about it at all. Thank you very much for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, give me a thumbs up, woo, and subscribe for more. See you in a couple days. Bye!